Sorry about the break in video. We were having some technical difficulties. Now our camera's plugged back in, so let's keep it moving. So, I would like to know, we also measure a different type of scales. Who can tell me what type of scale this is? Carrera. Um, Who can help out a journey? Balance. A balance scale. We've got to use this scale many times in class. And we will put gram pieces on one side, and then we will put something like blocks on the other side to find out how much the blocks weigh. That is a balance scale. We also learn about telling you how hot or cold it is outside. So I would like for my leaders like Hannah to tell me what do we use to tell how hot or cold it is? What do we call this? Help her out, Ryan. We use, uh, we use this for, for how hot or how cold and we use the F side. We use the F side. What do we call this thing? What do we call this thing, Hannah? Let's help her out. Thermometer. Thermometer. Very good. We use the F side. Raise your hand if you can tell me what does the F stand for? What does the F stand for? Sapphire. Hot. Well, it tells us how hot or cold it is. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Very good, Hannah. That's a good comeback. We don't use the C side. That's what they use in other countries. That stands for Celsius. So we use the Fahrenheit side. Very good, leaders. Also, we learned how to make tallies. So, I'm going to make a tally up here on the board, and leaders, I would like for you to help me count. So, let's count. One, two, three, four. And what do I do when I get to five? Cross. Get the door. Very good. I cross. Okay, so that's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Very good. So I just made the number 10 on my tally. And my leaders are so smart, they know how to take, make a tally and take these numbers and turn it into a bar graph. Um, so very, very good leaders. The next thing is, we know how to tell the difference between even and odd numbers. I wrote a song about it. Like to hear it? Here we go. All right, leaders, let's go. Two, four, six, eight, even numbers, I break. Two, four, six, eight, even numbers, I break. Two, four, six, eight, ten, even numbers, I win. Two, four, six, eight, ten, even numbers, I win. So my leaders know how to take a big number, such as this one up here. I'm going to make 223. How about I make that? 3,223, and I would like for you to raise your hand if you can tell me if that number is even or odd. Journey. Odd. Odd, very good. My leaders know to look at this number in the ones place, and if the number is odd, the whole number is odd. And we know how to find even numbers because if we sing it in the even number song, we know that it must be even. And three is not in the even number song. Good job, sweetie. Yeah. Next up, we have Fractions. Every Friday is Fraction Fun Friday, and on Fraction Fridays, we make fractions. And we have fraction burgers, although we can't eat them. So, we're going to make a fraction up here on the board. I'm going to make some shapes. A circle, a triangle, 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 and how about another circle up here? And I would like for you leaders to raise your hand if you could tell me what fraction is a circle. What fraction is a circle, Jay? Okay, that's two circles. And help her out, Ryan. Two out of five. Oh, so that's two. And what do I say when I draw my line? Five. Five in all. So two circles. I put my two and one, two, three, four, five in all. And let's see. My next card is for the numerator. Raise your hand if you can tell me what the numerator means. What is that? The top. the top number. Very good. Even my four-year-olds know that the top number is called the numerator. Raise your hand if you can tell me what do we call the bottom number. What do we call the bottom number? Justin. Denominator. Denominator. Very good. The bottom number is a denominator. So, now I can take away this fraction, and I'm going to do a little something different with it. And it is called a ratio. And my leaders also know how to find ratios and write those ratios out. So
So I would like for someone to tell me what is the ratio of triangles to circles? Think really hard. What is the ratio of triangles to circles? Triangles to circles. Come on, ladies. Triangles to circles. Triangles to circles. Okay. I need some hands. Nicholas, what is the ratio of triangles to circles? Two out of three. It's not a fraction, though. Oh. Triangles to circles. Hannah? Five. There's five in all. How many triangles do I have? Five. Uh, three. Okay, so it's three. Add and what, two. what do colon. I call these little no, dots? Colon. 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 Very good. So it's three, two. How many circles do I have, class? Two. 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 So the ratio of triangles to circles is three to two. And what do we call this again, class? Colon. 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 Very good. You guys are so smart. We also use that in writing class. And here's the last thing. It's called the mean, median, and mole. And I can write a whole bunch of numbers on the board like uh, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm going to put another 5. Now, we know that the median is the number in the middle. Say it, class. Median middle. is the number in the middle. Middle. Very good. And the mode is the number we see the most. most. So raise your hand if you can tell me what number do we see the most of? What number do we see the most of? Nicholas? Three. We have three. We have it one, two, three times. We have the four, one, two times. We have the five, one, two times. So we know that the mode is the number three. And then also to find the median. Who remembers? Um, well, who can tell me what the median number is? Mm -hmm. Carrera? Five and four. Not quite. Remember, the median is the number in the what class? Middle. Middle. We have to find what's in the middle. What do you think? Three. Three. Very good. We take off the top and the bottom, and then the next ones, and then the next ones, and then the next ones, and three is in the middle. It is the median. So, leaders, you guys are so brilliant. We also know how to tell time and hours and minutes. We also know the different types of money and how, of course, you all know how to spend that money, especially when it's not yours. And we're not going to go over that today because that's a little bit too boring. And we know that you know how to do that. So I would like to give you a round of applause because you guys are brilliant.